Hello and welcome to Rockstar Manager. I'm Dr. K, the management professor, and this episode is about being an engaged manager. First, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button down below and also hit the notifications button so you'll see each time I post a new video. This episode will walk you, the Rockstar Manager, through actions you should engage in on a daily or very regular basis and provide tools and techniques that can be used to manage both effectively and efficiently. Let's get started. It is your responsibility as a manager to create tasks for your employees. You should know what they are doing every day, how well they're doing it, and have a very good idea what the output is. When you create tasks, they should all align back to the associate's quarterly goals that were created from your associate's annual performance review. Expectations should be clear up front, and providing any examples will help ensure that you get the right output on the first attempt. Be sure to state the format in which you want, as well as the due date. If you want to see a draft prior to the due date, that should be stated as well. I recommend providing a due date that includes a little bit of a buffer so that if it's wrong, incomplete, late, or there are other issues, you'll have time to fix and recover. While the associate is responsible for the work, you are the manager, you're accountable for it. You can watch my RACI model video, R-A-C-I, to understand roles and responsibilities. It's imperative to provide feedback. However, if it isn't timely, the value decreases whether it's positive or negative. Let me explain. Let's say you work countless hours on a project for months. The final result is success. About a month later, your boss says, hey, good job with that project. If your boss said that right away, you would feel good about it. However, because the feedback, although positive, was a month later, it doesn't carry as much weight. What if it was negative? While nobody enjoys hearing negative feedback, especially if the delivery is poor, it's important to receive it so you don't keep making the same mistake. Otherwise, you'll be working, and when it's time for your annual performance review, you'll be irritated that you worked so hard but didn't get a good performance evaluation. Obviously, that translates to dollars in your pocket. Additionally, when it comes to feedback, managers need to know when to coach and when to counsel. I have a video specifically on coaching and counseling to give you additional guidance there. Don't spin your employees in circles. Provide the facts on the situation. I also have a video on how to be objective if you want to review it. It will make the conversation much easier. And use it to create positive intent. We want to create win-win environments for our employees, and as a manager, it's your job, literally, to give feedback to your employees. It should be timely, relevant, and provide value to your employees. If you have to deliver a negative message, I suggest you have the employee recap what he or she heard and send it to you in an email after your conversation. That way, you can be sure that the message was delivered and understood in the same manner. Otherwise, you'll waste your time and energy chasing the wrong thing. Your job as a manager is also to solve problems. The more people-related problems you have, you should assume you need to work on your management skills. Expectations should be made clear, and you need to follow up on your commitments. Hopefully, your job will be focused on resolving process-related issues. The decisions you make should be based on data, your experience, knowledge, and factual customer feedback. Make an effort to walk the floor. This assumes you have an in-person team, and walking the floor can be extremely valuable for you. Not only can you do a quick check-in with your associates, you'll get a feel for any issues that pop up for the day or get real-time customer issues. This can also allow you to become proactively, um, allow you to co proactively correct situations before they become problems. And the faster you can help resolve issues, the faster they can move past them as well. This term is actually called management by wandering around, but I wouldn't use that phrase in an interview if you are asked how you manage. The last thing I recommend you do as a manager is distribute weekly reports. It should be a summary of the projects in process, quality and or completion results from your team, and anything else you're working on. It should show the value that you add in the same format in the same distribution week over week 
or bi-weekly, whichever makes the most sense. Anytime you're able to quantify forecasts and actual results, it's great to show those as well. When you can close the gap and get really good at forecasting your results, again, you look like a rock star manager. If the numbers show that there is something wrong with the forecast, it doesn't mean you're a bad manager. It just means we have to figure out the hiccup in the process so we can learn to forecast a little bit better. Oftentimes, it's due to unforeseen issues. Hopefully, you have a better understanding of how to be engaged as a manager. If you're interested in learning more about related managerial topics, you can find my book, Rockstar Manager, From Theory to Practice at Barnes & Noble. Thanks for your time. Be your best you and be a rockstar manager.